Hello and welcome back to Vault Hunters. So today we're going to be checking out some of the newer things that are being built here on the server, including something really cool down there. Um, this is new. Uh, okay, so I've just come down from my elevators from the top floor down to my bottom floor. And I actually can't get out of this because when I try to jump out, I go up a level. So I guess we have to break this. Are you kidding me? This is my entire base down here covered in bamboo. <gasps> oh, wow. This, the, okay, all my relics are here. My... Wow, someone put some serious effort into this, and this is insane. Can I even, yeah, okay, I can get out. Look at this. Someone has placed dirt across the entire thing and then planted bamboo on top of it. <laughs> this is incredible. I mean, honestly, the amount of work that kind of went into this is... Is rather admirable, I, I will say, because this is crazy. At least they left the light sources going so that it's not like dark in here in a mob farm. Well, I guess I have a megatorch, so it's not too bad, but this is wild. All right, so someone's been pranking and going crazy with it. Uh, looks like we're going to need to uh, oh, prank someone back. So I'm not entirely sure who has done this at this point in time. Um, we're gonna have to do a little research and see if we can figure it out. I don't have any sort of calling card in here of any prankster at this point in time. So, we're gonna have to do some work. I think, if I were to place it on anyone, that's a, that's a Rob-style prank. Rob tends to, uh, do his pranks in a manner that, uh, are, uh, not extreme, but, uh, very thorough. For example, on our last uh, season, he, he almost shut the server down by placing, you know, a, a billion chickens uh, into one spot. So, okay. All right, let's do some research here. So, while we figure that out, we're going to run down here to MechCreate Island. And you can see there's been some huge updates. My frame rate's a little wonky. Anyway, so they have installed Rails. This is a collaboration between, well, pretty much all of us here. I believe CWG was the one who actually built the structure and things like that and probably put the rails around here in and of itself. And the idea behind all of this is that there's going to be exits on each of the corners. Um, well, maybe not that one, but for at least right now, we have this one here, which this rail we're going to extend over to my base over there. I need to create kind of a path to kind of get in there. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to look quite yet. And then CWG has also created the sec segment to go up there and into his base uh, underneath. I love these uh, bridges things. This this iron foot bridge is awesome. It's And it's got like a stairwell, so this is like very official when it comes to uh, what it would actually look like if this were, you know, in real life and not Minecraft. But I think it's really cool. The platforms that have been created even have, like, vents on top and stuff, and the the work of this is just incredible. I, I really want to shout out CWG for this. This looks absolutely incredible. And it looks like he's got the railway running into his base here, down into his ore storage area. Look at all that black opal. Hmm, tasty. And then it looks like it continues on, and I believe this is what goes over the Railway of Friendship. Over to P-Porp's base. And look at this. Ooh. This is like an official-looking train station. What is this? What is a plank parapet? Okay, that's new. But it's very, you know, realistic. That's, that's really cool. Got the fences. Okay, this is a legitimate-looking train station right here. I absolutely love this. So I think what we're going to want to do is we need to make up our section of where this railway is going to enter into our base. And I don't know what the block pallet's going to be. I, I assume the bridge is probably going to have to be something like what is over here with these iron or brick stairs and stuff around the edges. Um, so it looks like I'm going to have to do some work to figure out exactly how I want this to go. Because the idea is it's going to go down through here 
and then probably turn right somewhere in here and then come down into my base, probably on the side. The idea is it'll come in maybe somewhere in here, and then once it's in, uh, curve, well, not, not that we can see it right now, but curve around to hit our platform, which is over here, if I can get there. All right, we'll just make a little path here. All right, so, no, it will come over to here, and this is where our platform is going to be, this small recessed area through here, because the garage door is, you know, back there somewhere. Um, so this is going to be kind of interesting, because my base on the bottom here is pretty much going to turn into a train station. That's the idea. I want to decorate this thing up and make it look really neat, um, and I think <clears throat> that's going to require some... It's going to require a lot of work, obviously, but uh, we'll have to make this looking as official and cool as possible because when you have a, a base that looks like Peep Warps over there, it's very difficult to <laughs> compete with that. Uh, Peep Warp has better building skills than I. Now, of course, once it goes through my base, it's going to continue on, and it looks like Fuzzy already has some of this built up. I'm going to continue through my base and over here across this bridge and into Fuzzy's. And I really like the look of this. Oh, so this is going to be Fuzzy's train station. Very cool. Okay, this is cool. So obviously, like you, like you can see, I have quite a bit of work to do. And uh, I'm going to get started on some of this, but it looks like I'm going to probably be needing to uh, do some bamboo removal. All right, so I'm grabbing the trusty shovel, and it's time to, uh, I guess, start removing bamboo. I'm going to do this via... Removing the dirt. I think that's probably the easiest way. All right, so I'm going to take some of the items that I got from all that bamboo, and I'm going to do something to Rob's base here. I'm relatively sure it was Rob. Fits his uh, bill. If not, well, then this was just a good original prank on Rob. So I've already kind of started here. I've created these bamboo hedges, and my idea is I basically want to take and fill this whole area down through here. I have an entire inventory full of bamboo hedges. So let's, uh, let's, let's have a little fun with this. All right, and after an inventory worth of stacks of bamboo hedges, we have uh, pranked Rob back. So I've covered basically entire, the whole path, clear through the tunnel, all of this down through here, and I'm, oh, it's actually kind of hard to traverse. So yeah, I'm kind of stuck right here. So let me hop into free cam here real quick. And we'll take a look, and I've covered this whole area full of bamboo hedges. It looks like, you know, like the vines started here at his base and then exploded out all along through here. The whole path past me here and through this entire tunnel. I was running low at the end here, so I kind of, you know, ended up just doing it a little sparsely. But yeah, that's that's absolutely perfect. Ah, uh, you mess with me, I'll mess with you right back. All right, here it is. This is the final product. We have bamboo hedges running everywhere. Oh, this is perfect. So, you know, I know that Rob works very hard, both in real life and here on Minecraft. And so I feel like this is a good deed towards Rob. That way, you know, they can uh, touch some grass and experience nature a little bit more. Because, you know, it's good for the soul to go out and experience nature every now and then. Us Minecraft YouTubers sometimes get stuck inside, you know, working a lot. So it's, uh, it's, it, 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 this is, this is considered a good deed, I, I think. So I, I feel like this is enough to, to maybe get a color removed because th this is, I'm, I'm doing, doing him such a favor. So, since I can't use my waystone there, uh, you know, because of reasons, we're going to fly back over here to spawn, because that is our spawn area, and that is Rob's base, and we are on the far side over there that way. So, we need to take a look at this, and let's see if there's a few more good deeds that we can do. There's got to be something, and you know, the definition of good, you can sometimes be a little, you know, uh, tough to decipher. So let's take a look here at some of these. Uh, it looks like CWG has done a whole lot. And of truly, truly good things. Uh, okay, Peep finished CWG's art projects. Evad decorated CWG's, delivered Valentine's Day gifts to everyone. <laughs> Zinji built a turnip head out of its base. Corey did a bunch of really good things as well. Rob 
he did find the gaming district, made the resistance meeting room, made the meeting resistance room for resisting the resistance meeting <laughs> improved health and safety, and then I touched grass. Okay. So, you know, I guess these deeds are, uh, oh, that's, can't fly through that. Uh, you know, kind of difficult to, uh, to decipher what is actually good. So I think, if it's the only one online now, I think we need to go ahead and start doing some more deeds for the rest of the members so we can check off all of the colors. So I think our next uh, victim, I mean uh, recipient of good deeds, is going to be our friendly neighbor, Fuzzy. Now I'm not sure what Fuzzy has in the way of resources for certain things, but I feel like they may be a little bit low on red dye. I mean, I feel like a lot of red has been used in a lot of this stuff, so I feel like it's only fair if we uh, hook Fuzzy up with uh, some materials for some red dye. All right, well, you know, Fuzzy now shouldn't have to worry about uh, having to gather rose bushes or anything for the vaulter, because now Fuzzy has a full stock of roses. <laughs> I was going to do a little bit more through the middle, but I really didn't want to mess anything up. But I feel like this has a good aesthetic. So, yeah, so we're helping other members out by providing them with the resources they might need. So, we are over at Zinji's base currently, right beside McCreate Island. And, you know, black dye is one of those harder things to obtain. And Zinji has quite a few, uh, you know, uh, farms here. So I feel like we should help Zinji out by making some farms of wither roses. You know, that way he has plenty... Oh, I'm good. I just withered myself. Uh, plenty of black dye for any uh, crafting... That he might want to do so let's go ahead and fill this area in full of wither roses and there we go nice farm of wither roses here to uh, satisfy all the black dye needs that Zenji might have so another person who might need some more resources here would be peep so i think we're going to supply peep with a whole bunch of sea pickles i just sat down on a couch a whole bunch of sea pickles. That way, you know, when it comes up in the vaulter, they're ready to go. They don't have to sit here and wait around and, you know, go try to find them in the in nature. So, you know, I'm, I am here to help. All right, here we go. I hope this doesn't put Peep in too much of a uh, <coughs> pickle. <laughs> but I've covered a lot of the you know, base areas here, the main floor and things like that. Just with a whole bunch of pickles, you know, we'll add a few extras here and there for dramatic effect. Just make sure we have all the uh, bases covered here for pickling. All right, so next good deed done. Peepwarp is now set on pickles for quite a while. All right, so we're over here at Flynn's base, and I think the uh, uh, root of Flynn's problems are, are all related to just, you know, not having enough uh, roots for the vaulter. So we're just going to help Flynn out and make sure that there are no issues with uh, Flynn being able to uh, put roots into his vaulter. All right, I think I got to the root of uh, Flynn's problem and made sure that uh, there will be no shortages of roots for the vaulter. And for the next one... We're over here at Chris's base. Let's, uh, make sure that Chris has... Oh, he's got a waist down. Okay. Uh, let's make sure Chris has enough black frameless glass. You know, I've always been afraid that, you know, Chris wouldn't have enough of this black frameless glass. So we just gotta make sure that he knows that there is enough black frameless glass out there for everyone. There we go. And now it just looks like there's a lighting glitch. That's kind of the, the goal here. Let's go ahead and finish this wall out here. There we go. Now it just looks like a small lighting glitch. <laughs> just enough to make you think, what's going on here? But it's it's so kind of like transparent that you just can't see the edges. It looks like a total lighting glitch. I love that. Uh, let's go ahead and seal off, you know, everything else. Make it look a little bit harder to uh, discern that there's actually a prank going on here. There we go. All of the entrances now are, entrances and exits are sealed up. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to get out of here, but uh, 
Yeah, I'll just, I'll just mine through here. There we go. So if you're not paying attention and you just walk up, you're just like, let me walk into the... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're welcome, Chris. And so for our next one, Evett looks a little low on uh, sweet berries. So let's go ahead and uh, work this up so that Evett has all the sweet berries she could ever want. All right, so we have now covered the area in sweet berries. Now, these are not uh, prickly yet until they get to that first uh, one. So, like, I could, well, if I could jump up here. Yeah, I can touch this one, but if I touch this one, I start taking damage. So, we're going to AFK a little bit and let these grow up uh, slightly. <laughs> there we go. All right, Evan has all the sweet berries. All right, and for our last one, Hellfire, you know, once again, looks like he's a little bit low on pumpkin, or, yeah, melons, whatever these things are. So I'm just gonna help Hellfire out by giving him a whole bunch of melons. And I mean, they may just happen to be around this massive cube, but you know, I'm here to help. I am trying to help everyone with their resources. All right, there we go. We have now encapsulated, I mean, we have provided Hellfire with a ton of melons. Enough melons to hopefully last for quite a long time. All right, so we'll go ahead and put in the book here each of the ones we, we did. So we provided Zinji with Wither Roses. And we gave Yvette a sweet treat. There we go. So let's go ahead and put this book back. And let's just make sure it all is in here. There we go. Okay, all seven of our deeds have been completed. All right, so at this point, I guess we just need to... Dash out of here? Is that how this works? Huh. Well, I think we are back to normal. Huh. Such an odd magic pond. All right, everyone, that is going to be it for me today. We are back to our normal skin. This is uh, kind of weird looking. I'm not used to this. I haven't been like this for a little while. So thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all on the next episode.